Hiya, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today we are going to be making a gorgeous shaker card using the Sue Wilson Pacific Ocean dies and this lovely candy coloured cardstock from Kanban. So let's get crafting. So using my easy peasy card method and some sherbet coloured card from Creative Expressions, I have made an 8x8 square card base. Next I have cut a piece of custard coloured cardstock from Creative Expressions at 7 inches square and I'm just using my tape pen and this is just for the inside of the card just to give a nice mat and I think it just brings that lovely colours of the patterned Kanban card into the inside as well which makes it look really pretty. So next to the front of the card and our die cutting I'm using here my platinum and the Sue Wilson Noble Double Pierced Square Dies. I'm using the second largest and the Kanban Candy Daisies background card. And this is going to be actually a background square, but I wanted to make sure that all the layers matched up perfectly. So I thought that it would be best to cut it using the die rather than my guillotine. So using the same die set, but now the largest and the third largest, and another piece of the Kanban cardstock, I am creating a frame. And as is often the case, we are just at this point creating all the different elements ready to construct our card. So next, for the decorative elements on the front of our card, I'm going to be using the Pacific Ocean again and the Bora Bora die here and also the borders and corners die. So this piece is going to be the central element of my card and we're using the Bora Bora for that and I'm using pretty much all the layers on it and also the Blooming Marvelous cardstock from Kanban. And for this I'm using my smaller plate because it's a magnetic plate and it makes it a little easier to layer everything up without having to tape it. Next I'm cutting out four corners from the yellow element part of that cardstock that I used for the border and I'm using obviously the Pacific Ocean corners and borders die set so here's all four and I think that looks really pretty in the lemon and it's got like little dots on it as well so it's really attractive then using the same piece of cardstock uh, the yellow part of that cardstock I'm taking the outside edge only of that medallion that we cut earlier in the pink in order to create like a background that goes underneath that decorative medallion and that yellow will then show through the decorative elements and the lattice work of the pink. So now I've die cut all the elements that I need for the front of the card, I want to create my fuse shaker pocket using the die as a guide and this plastic wallet. Now the fuse tool I've done several projects with it so you can always see some other projects as well but the concept is pretty simple it's a tool that heats up it has like a little roller that puts like little dashed lines almost like stitching by melting the plastic in certain points to join the two layers together to create the pocket obviously you need to seal only three sides to start with add any shaker elements and then seal and add any shaker elements you want to add and then seal the fourth side using your fuse tool. Now having said that you do the three sides and then you put your elements in and then seal the fourth side, I'm actually going to add an extra dimension to this. I want the shaker elements to concentrate on the area that is not behind the metallion that we've got on the front. I don't want them to get stuck there. I want them to shake around that. So what I've done is I've placed that external die of the medallion into the center of the square and I'm just going to take my fuse tool and just do a rough guide shape around. I'm not going to try and go into every little piece of it it's not important it's just to give me a rough shape and um, size of it so now we've lifted the dies off you can see we've got a solid area in the center well an area where the pieces can't get into so that means that all my little shake elements will go around the outside of that edge piece 
Next, I'm just cutting around the outside edge of where I fused the plastic. You want just enough to be able to stick it down, but in my case, because I've got the frame, I need it just not too wide that it pokes out from the side of the frame now obviously the top part I've left fairly generous because that's still to be fused together once I've added my elements so I'm just checking here that it's not sticking out from the outside of the frame and that it's sitting all correctly which it is so I'm happy with that so the next thing we need to do is add some gorgeous yummy stuff to the inside of our pocket and I have to say I really enjoy doing shaker cards this way because you you can get this shaker card and it hasn't got like you haven't got to do all the foam tape and you can almost do it as a flat card so it's really fun so I've got a number of these tiny little plastic spoons they're sort of a half a teaspoon sort of size I would say and they're really useful for things like embossing powder and sequiny things like this to add um, so I'm just using that spoon and I'm just pushing the little elements so that they go round behind the circle well it's not quite a circle but the medallion shape so that it's going to go right to the bottom and all the way around so that we make sure that each part of it the edge is going to be having something yum in it so then finally just giving it a good shake and a mix just to make it sure it's all how I want it to be which I think it looks gorgeous and then all I'm going to do for the final side because with the die it would be a bit difficult now the pieces are in I'm just using my fuse tool ruler to seal that final edge and then we can finally get to shake it and make sure it's the good time at this point is to make sure there are no leakages and also it's a good way with something like this where I've um, made a shape in the middle just to make sure that it's going all the way around because once you add it to the card it'll be a little bit more difficult and then as with the other sides I'm just using my scissors to chop off the excess plastic. So now we've created all our elements we get to construct the card so I've got my card base here and the background layer that we cut using the die now as I said at the time you could have cut that using your guillotine or trimmer but by using the die we know it's exactly the size that we need it to be to fit behind that frame and our fuse tool pocket etc so that's going to be much simpler to do it that way so we're just sticking that down using my cosmic shimmer glue in order to give a little bit different layering and dimensional effects I am actually sticking down the yellow medallion the background part of the medallion first and then we're going to put the shaker card on top and then stick the lacy part the filigree part of the medallion on top of the plastic and that was the reason that I wanted the shaker elements not to be behind that medallion because I wanted the yellow to show through and not little bits of um, sequins etc so again using my cosmic shimmer I just stuck that down now I'm just prepping my frame so I've got here the four corners and I'm just sticking those down onto the inside of each corner so obviously I'm putting the glue on the right side of the card because it's going to be the right side facing up so we're just putting it on the very edge there and then sticking that down so that's that done doesn't that look gorgeous now because I want this frame to be dimensional I've just added some foam tape on all four sides then in preparation I have peeled the backing off all of those and then I'm popping that to one side while I just stick some double sided tape onto the very edge of our square there because we know that's the right size and this will be it um, strong enough to hold our shaker pocket down in place and then just peeling the backing off that and making sure it's the right way up although to a certain extent at this point it doesn't really matter but um, then giving my pocket a bit of a shake just to make sure everything's sitting where I want it centralizing it over the 
medallion background and on the background card there and just sticking that plastic down and that double sided tape is nice and strong you want to make sure as well that the packet is nicely stretched out so that it's not got any wrinkly bits um, and kind of sort of areas that are sort of a bit saggy <laughs> which sounds really gross and then taking the frame which we'd already uh, taken the double sided tape backing off I'm just sticking that down over the very edge of the pocket there just making sure that it's sitting straight and covering all of those edges and then just because you can give it a good shake making sure everything is exactly where you want it to be and I think that looks really great and then we need to add our medallion to the center to just add that lovely decorative element now this is a very detailed piece I know a lot of people put the glue on the back of their hand and do it that way I think that's quite risky because at any time you can suddenly become allergic to it and then you really would have a problem and it literally would mean you couldn't touch any adhesives or anything so I just use a bit of scratch paper and use that to just gently dip the fine elements of any dye that I'm working on in this case the medallion on the bigger piece there you saw I used the adhesive and just went round with it directly onto the medallion but for these fine pieces you can just gently um, drop it into that adhesive and it will just put adhesive where it needs to go and that's it so then we're just popping that making sure it's lined up as best as we can with the background medallion that we created now just in case there wasn't enough sparkly sequins and gem type things on this card i have decided to add some lovely little pearls that are in the same sort of pinky purpley tones that we've got so at the moment I'm just adding and uh, positioning them around the medallion and then we'll glue those down with a little bit of cosmic shimmer it seems a lot extra but I do think it just finishes it off and makes it look really pretty so now that's the center medallion done so I'm just adding some elements to the four corners of actually I changed my mind and just pushed it into the corners of the die cut corners as it were and I think that just makes that look pretty and sort of finishes that off as well and again just sticking that down using my cosmic shimmer and as you can see I just putting it up onto the corner of the frame and it kind of looks like it's on the corner the die cut corner because I'm just pushing it over slightly but it's just a little bit too difficult with the amount of detail in those corners die cut corners I should say for me to stick it on there and so I thought it was simpler just to pop it up just one little step and I think those sequins look really really pretty and they catch the light so lovely so there are all the pearls and sparkles added and don't they look lovely and that is in fact the card finished and I think it looks so pretty and this was in fact my mum's birthday card her birthday was on the 1st January this year obviously this was this year's card so she's already had this one and she did love it so I hope you liked it too don't forget if you're on YouTube to click on the show more on the paragraph below this video and that will open it up and you will see a link to the corresponding blog post which will show you lots and lots of photos and information so thanks so much for watching and i will see you again soon bye for now bye
another and then